Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, sometimes life can get so busy that you forget to tend to you and your passions and goals so let's end that now it's time to focus on yourself your core beliefs and what you care about this is Lisa your expert hypnotherapist and I come live every Tuesday at noon to bring you some expert information about the work that I do about hypnosis hypnotherapy maybe even um, information on uh, healing and also you know we did a challenge on dancing so it's about expert information inspiration and I also bring expert speakers that uh, inform you and bring you much of their expertise to help you elevate you and make a difference in your life so this is the last Facebook Live for Heal Talk Tuesdays for 2022. And, you know, I don't know what you have done for the holidays, what you are planning to do, but it's, um, it's amazing because there are so many who are stranded. They are uh, in the blizzards, some who were stranded in the airports, and they... It's been tough for so many, and yet here I am in California with a beautiful sunny California that has been for this entire week. We're going to get rain today, but I just wanted to say no matter where we are, no matter where you are, I hope that this time you stop and be grateful. For everything that has happened in 2022 your experiences your moments your ups and downs through your challenges and all your achievements you know there is not a thing that happens and I know it's a cliche they say it doesn't happen to you but for you um, and yes, we learn through each challenge. We overcome challenges and it teaches us a lesson. So I believe every challenge that I have gone through and possibly you, we get to become stronger and we learn something from it. Uh, from breakups to makeups, right? From losing family members and the struggles i know yesterday i was um, at the bakery getting some pastries and everything and the line was long as i was standing there was a girl right in front of me and uh, but she didn't have anything in her hand she had not bought anything to pay so i was wondering and as she got to the cashier she just turned around and said, I'm looking for a job. Do you have any job that I can work? Is there any openings? And the clerk behind the cash register said, no. And she said, not even washing dishes. I'll, I'll be happy to do it in the kitchen. And she says, no, no opening. And she said, thank you and walked out. And at that very moment, it hit me so hard that there are so many of us that are running around, right, in the department stores, buying, buying, buying. And uh, we are busy with family. And uh, some of us are struggling in the airports and the stress factor, all that. And here's someone who just wanted a job 
um, even to wash dishes. I swear at that very moment, I paid, I walked out to go find her to see what she, what I can help her with, what she really needs, and she was gone. But it brings us to this very moment of realizing we are not alone. We're not. Every one of us has a story. We have our own challenges. And it doesn't matter if we are struggling because of finances or we are a millionaire. When it comes to health, when it comes to family and love, it doesn't see how much money you have or where you live. And I've shared this so many times, a house is not a home until the people within it make a home. And the end of the year, it's like a closing. It's closing of a chapter for a year, for a day, a decade. But when it comes to the end of the year, so many souls also close doors. And, you know, it's like, now it's the time to close and begin a new chapter. Just like flowers and plants, they have their own season. Fruits, their own season. And so do we as humans. When we think about it, I don't know how you cope with your challenges, but at the very moment when you feel you can't handle it anymore, I want you to know one thing, you can. If you can just do it for three minutes and then just say to yourself, if I can make the next hour or the next day, or even just this week, just for the next day, just for the next week. But you also can make it so distinct and make it so precise and say, just for this moment, I want to take a nice deep breath and be present and be grateful for this moment right here. And if we can take moment by moment, and then three minutes, and then five minutes, and then an hour, and then a day, you will realize that when you wake up the next day, and you can start again and just say, just for this moment, I am grateful. And every single experience adds and creates and enhances who you are. One of the things we do is realize, you know, I talk about chakras, the colors of chakra, and how each chakra correlates. And I'm not here to say I do my therapies with chakras, no. But each energy aspect, each line that we have, the seven, and at my sound healing bowls also, I have them that when we do the healing bowls and it opens the chakras, which is the energy lines in our body, you know, when we talk about the crown chakra that it's connected to our, um, what we call it, the spirituality to the gods, to our core source, right? And it's opening that level of meditation and prayer and being open to grace and the wonderment of the universe the connectiveness you know babies and children are so connected they never think twice if they want to put their hand in their mouth or their feet in their mouth and they just want to get up and roll over or cry and their needs are met because they ask for it in their own way and they never doubt themselves. They just go for it. 
And we, as adults, we become so self-conscious because we've had so many naysayers. So when we become open, we become open. The third eye, which is the color of indigo, when you meditate and you just concentrate on that, is to have your vision be expanding, to visualize bigger, to visualize more of the things you desire in your life. I've said this so many times as a hypnotherapist. One of the things that I do is guide my clients to delve and drop from their conscious level into the subconscious level, which is the other state. We go from alpha to beta to delta. Those are the levels of consciousness. And when we hit this level, it is the place of knowing. That's why so many people do the quiet moments, the Zen times, and it is to sit, meditate, pray. Even the monks, when they do the chanting and prayers and everything is to get into that zone and away from all the distractions. And I hope you also do this. In the coming months and weeks, I'm going to be taking you deeper into each level so you can also understand that as you step into your wants and desires you create the best version of you connecting to your inner source that's where healing within is that's how we heal within so Indigo after indigo is our throat chakra, which is the blue. And we're going to talk about this so much because it's all about communication. And when I have a client that comes in here and they're struggling with communicating, not only their truth, but with others. It's all about here, which is the color of blue, sky blue. When you walk into somewhere and you go... Look into the sky and all this clouds and sky, the vastness, this is it. And below here is the one of the most loving. This is your upper chakras, which is the heart. Heart, green, greenery, nature. You are so connected with your heart. And if you are disconnected with the heart, which is right in the middle point. Yeah? So it clogs. And when you feel disassociated with feelings and you have blocked and you feel so hmm, not attached, not connected, or even feeling and receiving love, that's the blocks. And we're talking about that. Self-love. And also below is the stomach area. Now we're going into the lower chakras in your life that connected to the yellow, which is also your digestive tract. So when I've got clients who come over here with weight issues and digestive issues and a lot of core self-belief, self-confidence, their self-esteem is right here. Those are all connected. And someone says, when you look in your in my office, I've got my lotus, I've got the Kuan Yin, I've got the Buddha, I've got my cross. Uh, as a Catholic, I am a practicing Catholic and yet a, more of a spiritual person. So I believe in all aspects of what can enhance not only me, my environment, my clients, everything is for us to make space for you to have this place of serenity quietness and healing because that's the entire thing about lotus is coming from the depths of the muddiest water and when we are ready 
we turn around and blossom. So yellow and underneath is the orange, the deepest, beautiful, vibrant orange, which is your sensuality, your sexuality, your connectiveness of your core. Mm -hmm. And so much more. And right underneath that, it's as if dropping that pendulum, it's the red, that it's connecting us to Mother Earth, Father, Son, Mother Earth. And we can bring the elements of five elements, which is the water, the wood, the metal, the air, and uh, I'm missing one element. The wood, the metal, water, wood, air. Okay, I've got it all. <laughs> so you see, when we work with all that, it's like, when a client walks in and says, I want to lose weight, my question is why? Why? And how long have you been struggling with this issue? Why do you want to lose the weight? Or why, when we have our why in anything, either a cause or a, a reason of why we want to do that, when the passion, the desire is there, then the transformation happens. And what is transformation? It is being somewhere we desire that is not here. And that change, the transforming, the peeling away layers of what needs be from the subconscious level, deep down, not this conscious analyzing, thinking, judging, analyzing part of you, that criticizes yourself, the doubt, the shame, the guilt, we peel away all that. And to heal within, we go deeper. It's the patterns, it's your habits and behaviors. So if the new year, you are ready for a new beginning and you want to once and for all be what you desire to be. Let's do this. 2023 is going to be an amazing year. It is going to be amazing for me because it is the power number for me. It adds up to a nine, which is going to be my number of completion. So many things are going to be completed. I know we've got a trilogy of a book that I'm starting with powerful women. And if you are interested as an Armenian woman, let me know. If you are interested, we're starting the applications and everything to be a, in a book with a collaboration. We're doing that. We are up leveling our interviews. We're going to be interviewing incredible, powerful, inspiring, motivational folks that it's going to make a difference in your health, wealth, in your career in your aspirations, in up-leveling you, and so much more. So I hope you take this moment as we are closing the doors, take time for yourself to sit and journal, write, or even type it in whichever is more convenient for you. Three things that you are ready to make a difference in your life. Three things you want and will make a change and step up your game. And as I say, isn't it time for you to show up and stand up and speak up for yourself? Only by doing so, we become better, stronger, in order for us to help others. So, transformation begins right here when we are ready to heal within. My name is Lisa, and if there's anything I can be and make your year healthier and better, by all means, let me know. So until then, 
I wish you a happy new year. And may you celebrate this time, no matter where you are, either at home or with others, in safety. Be safe and make a difference. That's it. Just be safe. Welcome the new year with grace and love. And until next year, I bid you goodbye. See you next year. Bye-bye. God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.